Uh, hey there. Have you guys ever wanted to know more about trace rifles and why a sudden surge of them have appeared all of a sudden? Well, in today's video, I'll explain why and also why you should start giving them a try in both PvE and PvP. Once Season Splicer was announced and released, Bungie released a patch note covering a wide scope of what has been buffed, nerfed, adjusted and fixed. And within the patch notes, Bungie have finally added the one thing trace rifles have been needing for a while, which are mods, specifically ammo and enhancements mods that greatly improved the whole of the weapon. One of the biggest issues with using trace rifles was the low reserves they had and lack of scavenger mods to help negate this area. PvP for example will show you the effects of this on a large scale, with you starting off with a low amount of ammo and reserves and then quickly burning through them. Not much of an issue PvE wise as ammo is plentiful, but PvP is where the weapons fall behind a lot compared to other special weapons in game. On top of that, they have a high TDK when landing critical hits so landing all your shots precisely can work in your favour by a long shot. The problem with this though is that they burn through ammo just as quickly and since you need to stick your shots via critical hits, you are more likely to miss your shots and thus waste ammo in the mean run. As you can tell, Trace Firefalls have it rough and from seeing the lack of dedicated mods to help this area out, not many players want to use them since they can use a shotgun, fusion, sidearm, sniper or grenade launcher that all have the mods dedicated to them alone. Now with the added additions to the game which can be easily farmed in daily lost sectors, Trace Firefalls have started to rise up more as of lately and will soon be commonly used in all activities with no downsides. To give an example, with the Trace Firefall Scoundrel mod equipped, you can earn up to 100 ammo per green pickup and pretty much have enough to take out another extra enemy before needing to reload. Picking up 2 or more green ammo can allow you to pretty much have your Trace Firefall out for the whole of the match, which is nice if you love Trace Firefalls in general. This won't be anything meta changing but will allow players to fully use and build into the free weapons however they like without the worry of no ammo being available. Now we have three trace rifles we can explore here and how they can be used. We have the Cold Heart that rewards consistent precision hits for more damage over time. We have Wave Splitter which is just as deadly as Cold Heart but can be overcharged to do even more damage. And then we have Prometheus Lens that can create a solely heat field the longer it fires and this award can allow you to tag multiple enemies or players in one. I have found that Prometheus Lens has been the best choice to pick out of the three for both PvE and PvP for its great applications over multiple targets. With its perk Prismatic Inferno active, it can allow you to create a solely heat field as you go and with its other perk called Flame Refraction, this perk will return a fraction of ammo back to user upon each kill made with the weapon. These two perks are top tier in PvP or PvE as you can keep firing and get even more powerful doing so and can catch a whole group out without letting go of the trigger. Speaking about building into the weapon, I've been playing around with a trade rifle build that I think you guys would enjoy. It's very simple and straight to the point and doesn't require everything that's been shown. Our subclass will be the behemoth to utilize the fragments and bonuses they can offer. With Whispers of Rhymes, Whisper of Hedgehogs and Whispers of Shards, we can not only get a damage boost from freezing and shattering others, but also gain an overshield thanks to the Whisper of Rhyme perk, which will allow us to soak up a bit more damage while continuously firing our weapon. We then have the aspects which are Cryoclasm and Tectonic Harvest that both offer the user a unique combo of shattering and creating shards that we can utilize however we like. I am aware of the change to Whisper of Hedron so that can be switched out for something like Chains for extra defense, Impetus for extra weapon damage while stowed or Bonds for extra super. The build will utilize the Prometheus Lens and Path of Burning Steps to create a non-stop buff solar weapon that can do immense damage over time from the smallest to biggest threats. Using Path of Burning Steps as other perk, every time we get a kill with Prometheus, we will get the Firewalker buff that will increase our damage per stack of kills made. The Firewalker buff can stack up to times 4, which will be a 35% boost to our weapon damage. We then have the mods which will all utilize the new trace mods and so forth, with trace rifle targeting and ammo finder in the head section, unflinching trace in the chest section, and double trace rifle scavenger in the leg section. We won't need Trace Rifle Loader or Dexterity as the weapon's base stats are pretty good, it's just the ammo and flinching section that needs help. And lastly, just as a safety precaution, we have Charged with Light and High Energy Fire mod attached to the loadout to allow you to get the upper hand on players, which will kick in the Firewalker perk and then you go from there. This can be swapped and changed to whatever you like and you don't need to have this mod to make the build go further. The setup is pretty straightforward but powerful enough to cause issues for those that stay out the open too long. 
They both can be used with other trace rifles, however they won't trigger your exotic boots in terms of extra damage. This can be rectified of course by simply having high energy fire attached and then choosing whatever else exotic you want that will benefit you the most. So overall, are trace rifles worth using now? Yes, very much so, as now they compete with other weapons in game thanks to the added mods which were the biggest issue since day 1. Now they can be used in PvE or PvP content without a hitch and allow users to once again get creative and see what they can offer to the sandbox. They're not meta breaking, but their high TDK can offer a lot on the table if you're looking for something new this season to try out. So if you enjoyed the video then please leave a like and a sub and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny or Titan for lore content if you did that type of stuff, link is down below. But once again, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one.